Hi, welcome to Bruce's Garage. I'm Bruce and this is my garage. This is my first DIY tuber video. That's right, this is so freaking exciting. And what I'm gonna do is a wash, a rinseless wash on my 2016 Forerunner and chat with you a little bit about the DIY tuber program and who I am. So come on in the garage with me today and let's have some fun. Anyway, let me tell you about the DIY tuber program. So you've probably heard a little bit about it. And essentially, it's a competition among four people that were selected, and they're gonna do it three times. So we'll have three times, we'll do three months, and then another group for three months. And during that time, we will do, I believe, one long video and two short videos in a week. And then all you guys get to determine who wins by, I think, by just the number of views and comments. I'm not sure of all those details yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. But anyway, I thought I'd start by just telling you a little bit about who I am and how I got into detailing. So I am a father. I have two kids, two grown Adult, both uh, living outside the St. Louis area. So one lives in Chicago and one child lives in Madison, Wisconsin. And we live just outside of St. Louis in Missouri. And I really enjoy detailing. And I got into detailing basically because we bought this house. And when we bought this house a couple of years ago, it has this fantastic garage and what's fantastic about it is it's a three-car garage we have two cars so i got some space but i was trying to figure out what i could do with the space because it's all drywall 10-foot ceilings i mean it, it's incredible space and we weren't using it so other than just parking the cars and i thought well i love detailing i mean i love cleaning my cars i love keeping them clean so i thought what the heck this i could start detailing well little did i know it become an obsession. And so once you get into detailing, man, I'm telling you, because I just, I found it so, I just found it really relaxing. I found it gives me the opportunity just to like focus on what I'm doing and not the daily grind of life. And so it just was like, it's just relaxing to me. And I think a lot of you probably can relate to that. So that's kind of how I, I got started in it. And when I get started in stuff, you know, as my family would say, I tend to go overboard. Meaning I dive into everything pretty darn deep. So I try to learn as much as I can. I love learning. I love doing new things. And so that's what kind of got me into detailing. I always like taking care of my cars, but I didn't know about a lot of stuff. So I started watching YouTube videos and bought stuff and then bought more stuff and bought more stuff and bought more stuff. Here we go. So that's kind of how I got started. Now, how did I get started on this whole YouTube thing? That's the other goofy part of this for me was what prompted that? I got into, I wasn't ever really thinking about YouTube, but I've always loved photography. And I've done a lot of photography over 30 years of it, but I've never done videography. Didn't know a thing about videography. And that started to appeal to me because I like to learn. So I started going down this path of, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. That's gonna force me to learn more about videography video editing and i thought you know what else is that i'm used to being behind the camera i'm not used to being in front of the camera i thought well the only way to get comfortable with something be uncomfortable right like you have to go through discomfort to get out to the other side of anything so i thought okay i'm going to put myself in front of the camera and the other thing is that when you're learning something new the thing i love to learn but the thing I hate is sucking at stuff. 
And so, but when you're learning, you don't start being an expert. You're not going to be great at it when you start. So in order to get great at something, you're going to suck at it. And so I had, I'm very uncomfortable with that process, but that's learning, dude. That is the way you learn. So I just kept telling myself, you're going to suck. That's okay. Because you're going to get a little bit better every time you do it. And then you will get better and better and better. And that's the only way to come out on the other side feeling pretty good about what you're doing. That was part of my growth plan with YouTube was to learn and to grow by getting just the opportunity to do some stuff that would make me uncomfortable. And I thought, all right, well, I'm going to get uncomfortable doing this stuff. You know, it's just the way it's going to be. I'm not going to be great at it, but that's okay because that's the only way I'm going to be good at it. And that's kind of what started the whole YouTube journey. You know, one of the things that I just, I think I, I really love about detailing is I think I'm addicted to the outcome. You know, like I do like the process and I love process. I love doing things in an organized, logical fashion, but it's, it's seeing something transform. And my favorite thing I think is really ceramic coating. To watch a vehicle transform, to polish, and see those scratches and disappear and the gloss just go is like, was just so much fun. So I'm addicted to the outcome, like I think a lot of people are, but the process is fun. And you gotta enjoy what you're doing, especially if it's a hobby or why do it, right? I mean, if you don't enjoy it, it's not relaxing, it's not fun, then find something that is. I think this DIY tuber program, what I'm really excited about it is just learning more about DIY detail products, learning more about videography, about producing content that you all want to see and get value from. Number one is I want to enjoy it. But part of what gives me enjoyment from the videos is seeing the value it gives to others. So when other people enjoy your videos, it's like, it's, a, it's inspirational, it's motivational to keep going, to keep doing it. That's what's really fun, to see that other people value the time and effort that you're putting forward. The three other people, you know, are really good people. And I think all of us are not really, even though I keep saying this is a competition, I don't think any of us are thinking it is a competition. I think we're all thinking about it is we're all gonna learn. So we all win in the end, right? I mean, if we all learn and we all have fun, then we win. You know, that's, that's the win, not the competition part of it. So it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. And I hope that you will watch the videos, take a look at some of my other videos on the channel. Give me some feedback. Let me know what works, what doesn't work. I just really appreciate the time people take to watch what I produce. That's pretty cool to me. And so over the next three months, you know, I will do my regular videos, but I will do DIY tuber videos every Thursday night. Those will be at uh, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. And I hope you'll watch and give me some comments and however we vote or whatever, of course I'd appreciate that if it's valuable for you. And I appreciate your time and I'm glad that you came to Bruce's Garage. So I want you to go out, remember, have some fun and detail. Thanks for watching.